Hi there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. Today we are diving into something exciting. Today we will see how you can create your website easily using WordPress. And remember, I said easily because this tutorial for all. So whether or not you know coding language, it really doesn't matter. And guess what? 44% of all websites available in internet are powered by WordPress. So WordPress is that popular, not from today, but it is consistently popular since years. Not because it is simple, but the kind of features it offers and then you can get started for free. So without further ado, let's see how we can also get started. For that, let's jump into our computer screen. And there we go, you can see my computer screen and I already have open internet browser here. So all here, what we need to do is, I'm gonna type here wordpress.org, which is kind of official site of a WordPress platform. And WordPress is actually open source. This means that the source code is freely available to anyone to view, modify and distribute. The open source nature of WordPress is one of the key reason for its popularity as it allow a large community of developer to contribute to its development, create plugins, themes and improve the platform continuously. Now after getting inside, here if we go down, you can actually download the WordPress. Okay, let's get back to our WordPress website. Here on the top right corner, you can see a button that says get WordPress. If you click on it, it will basically take you to this page where you can host WordPress by yourself and download this version here. Or else what we can do is we can directly host our WordPress online which eventually most of us need to do to make our site live. Upon clicking on get WordPress button here, you will get these two options. You can either download and install WordPress yourself, which gives you kind of complete control, but require a bit more technical know how to install and download it. But today in this video, we will go with this setup with hosting provider, which is really easy guys. And you really do not need too much of technical knowledge to get started. And eventually everybody need to make their website live. So I would say in most of scenario option number two make more sense so let's click here on see all recommended host and here you can see bluehost hostinger dreamhost wordpress.com although there are hundreds of hosts to choose from but on this page you will see some of recommended one for example bluehost dreamhost hostinger and wordpress.com for this particular tutorial let's go with wordpress.com because it also offers a free plan making it accessible to everyone to start their blogging journey so let me quickly click here on wordpress.com and this wordpress.com is slightly different from wordpress.org which is open source however you can consider wordpress.com you may consider it like you know wordpress.com is the services offered by wordpress.org now let's click here on get started and there we go here first of all we need to create our account so i'm gonna quickly select google here and then let me choose any one of my google account and i'm gonna sign in now here, what we need to do is we need to choose our domain here. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type here technoholic and then hyphen blog. Okay. And in your particular case, you can also go with any name that you like. So um, what I'm going to do here is let me also see if technoholic is available. And I think it is not. And then here you can also see different different plans available and uh, since we would like to create it completely free therefore I would like to go with this technoholic7.wordpress.com okay so seems like technoholic.wordpress.com is not available that's why it is offering us this seven character so let me find something else so uh, yep I think technoholic seven looks good so let's go with technoholic seven and then i'm gonna choose this one we can also go with let's say dot com domain um but i think this one is not free uh either you can get it for free using annual paid plan which we're gonna see later on or you can pay for your domain um in my particular case i'm gonna go with this dot wordpress.com domain let's click on select 
and now uh, I'm gonna also deselect this .com. So let's say you want to do it professionally, I would recommend you to go with .com one. Now let's click here on continue. And now here we can see we have got these different different hosting to choose from. And as I said, uh, I'm gonna go with the free one. So we can actually get started with free one and then based on your need, you can always jump into or upgrade your hosting plan. So let me quickly click here on start with free. And there we go. Now here we need to define what are our goal here. So my goal here is um, write and publish or probably I can sell online. Okay. Now let's click on continue. Now here I can give my site title. So let's say I would like to create this tech blog uh, named Technoholic. And now here I can give my tagline, which is let's talk tech. It could be anything, you know, again, it depends on you. Uh, let's click again on continue. And now here you can see you have got so many templates available to start from. So as I selected that I'm going to also sell something online. So here I am getting store templates, which will give you both a blogging as well as selling experience. So I think uh, some of these websites are free, others are paid, and then there are so many which you can choose or else what we can do is we can also get started um, by clicking on design our own. But uh, sometime, you know, to save your time, you can also get started with these cool looking templates. And then here we can see we have several categories available. Let's say you would like to create your blog website for your restaurant. In that case, you can click here on restaurant and here we go. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go with design your own which gonna give you everything from scratch okay so here on the top i can see my header header is the topmost part of your website where you will find menu as well as uh, your logo and then here you can see you can always customize by clicking on shuffle and you can see different different types of headers available okay now um let's actually uh you know select the header you can also select it from here I think this one looks nice and then we can always customize it later on. Okay. Now after header, let's go here on intro and now here you can choose the intro part, like how you would like to start. So for example, I would like to go with, um, let's go down here and let's also see more such parts. So this one looks good. I'm going to go with it. And then, um, so basically you can choose from these different, different web parts or component or anytime, you know, you do not like it. You can simply select it and delete it. It is that easy guys. Now, uh, I, I'm going to go with blog post and let's say my three best blog posts going to come here and what else? Uh, I'm going to also give this newsletter option here so that you know, um, my viewers or subscribers subscribe to my website. And then if you would like to add gallery, gallery is also there and then contact is also there. But uh, I think this is enough for the homepage. Now let's click here on select styles. Okay. And now I can choose actually, you know, different, different styles available and fonts also one can choose. Now let me go back here and then I'm going to click on select style and then um, select pages. And then I'm gonna use home page and about page. Okay, so let's click here on save and continue. Now let's click here on start adding content. The initial steps gave us a good head start to get started. Now let's customize it more deeply. Or let's have a tour. So the tour will let us know how we can get started. So the first one says that everything is a block. Now here you can see your website everything you can select everything you can modify for example i also would like to add blog here so see you can simply edit it okay and then um here if let's say you want to add a new page and here you can also customize your menu for example let's add here something else for example uh store and right now it is just a link uh, which of whom you can provide address here. So all I want to say is it is completely customizable. Now uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove this learn more button from the top. Okay. So for that I can select it and then I can click on this three dot option and then click on delete. 
actually i would like to delete this whole button so here we can see how this whole website look like now here i can fill up my own address here and then i can mention my opening time which is from let's say 9 a.m to 5 p.m and then i can mention here my address simply just like this now in order to make these facebook links uh, active simply here you need to add your address so what i'm gonna do here is let me actually copy technoholic facebook address here and now i'm gonna hit enter okay now uh, just to quickly test this link let me click on save and then again save now if i click here on view site you can actually view your site how it will look on real time and right now you can see we are logged in so that's why it is showing us so many things let me actually copy this link and then let me open it in incognito there we go here it shows coming soon because i think i forgot to remove this coming soon option from my site now what i'm gonna do here is let's click here on this wordpress button which will open uh, this navigation now um yeah you can see more templates available totally depend on you which one you want to use now let me again click on back which will give us these all options now here we just have completed two steps you can update your site design by clicking here and then this will basically again take you to the website editor now let me again go back here now here in order to remove coming soon we can click here on coming soon okay now let's click on visit site and now i'm gonna click on launch site and then again it is asking us to choose domain which i would say is a wise decision if you are doing it professionally because .com website look professional than a wordpress subdomain now since this is just a demonstration website so that's why i'm gonna go with skip purchase or else you can go with you know dot com select the domain and then um i think it will cost you some amount and then here you can select your hosting and then um you can see that and then here you just need to pay for your domain now let me go back and then uh let's click here on skip purchase and then i'm gonna keep this same plan which is for free and in this way guys uh we have made our website live now let me again go back to incognito and then uh, i'm gonna type the same technoholic7.wordpress.com and this time you know you can see this website is live now let's further customize this website uh, for example uh, let's click on edit site first this will basically open this page now here i can click on block so here you can see we have got different different options to choose from you can add these options here uh, for example i would like to add a youtube video of one of my video so i can actually paste the url here and then i can click on embed and in this way you can see my video is now being embedded inside this blog similarly you have got tons of option to customize it for example uh, here let me add a quick heading and then here i can mention my latest blogs okay since these blogs are not actually real so what we can do is uh, let me actually save this page and then i'm gonna create a new blog which again i would say is pretty easy guys okay so seems like this is updated uh let's go back click on pages and here you can see we have created only a single page now i'm gonna create a new page i'm gonna give it name store for example and click on create draft and this will create your new page now let me actually publish this page okay so now we can see this page and uh here we can see now we have got these two pages one is about and another one is store which is great now we have created two pages now if i click here on the top you can see that you can create new post page user media so let's click here on post now here you can create a new post so i'm gonna post here a new so here i'm gonna mention top 10 productivity apps available for windows 
now here you can add more content for example uh, here we have created a title you would like to start with this paragraph which is really nice you can also utilize this uh, ai assistant we're gonna summarize things for you so let me again paste the same seems like we're gonna summarize or gonna fix the grammatical mistakes for you now here let's say we can add so many things here um as we have seen in past so let's start by adding a divider here and then now i can start with an image uh, I'm gonna go with generate with AI and then I'm gonna mention here Windows Pro TBT. Let's click here on generate or L if you have got your own image then you can also have that image here. Okay, so this image look good. I'm gonna insert this image here and then um, you can start typing and creating your complete blog. Now let me click here on publish. And there we go now here i can see my post let me also see the same post here um, in incognito and this is how it look now let's click here on technoholic blog and now i can see my new post being added here about page uh, which is almost ready uh, let me again go back and can see this blog now we also have embedded this uh, video which now i can directly access it here so this was a very quick overview of how you can get started with WordPress. I am pretty sure that you are more creative than me in making your website look nice. There is much more to come, much more to explore in WordPress that we're going to cover in later video. But to get started, I think this is more than enough. I hope guys you find this video helpful and informational. If so, then please do like and subscribe to Technoholic to see more such content. And I will get you soon with one such another video. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.